The Georgetown Library is an integral part of every Georgetown student and faculty member's life. For one thing, we provide the resources that they need for their work. But for another thing, we provide space. This to me is the heart of the university. If there's one building that is the heart, it's the library. I love the library. I'm here all the time. We can't do our work. We can't teach unless we have this resource. Ballinger is still full of students. It's hard to find a seat at exam time. Uh, it's a place students go. That's wonderful for a library. So I lived far away from the university when I was an undergraduate, and this was the space that I found myself kind of most committed to when I was a student here. And so for me, it's still a very special, almost sacred place. When I walk through those doors and I get inside Lowinger, there's a sense of a place where I belong. Uh, and this is a place where a certain part of my life as a teacher, as a researcher, as a writer, uh, gets nurtured. Uh, students have sometimes said to me that they would rather see the university improve its library than improve some of the spaces they spend more time in, meaning their residence halls. Because the library represents this deep quest for knowledge, this, uh, um, in a sense, higher purpose of growing and learning that the university is all about. The bounty that we have in terms of books and reference works and photographs and recordings, we can access library collections all over the world. Library collections are something that set a particular university apart. So as much as all libraries seek to serve a larger purpose of uh, being repositories of general knowledge, collections are special, collections are unique, and they become a touchstone that sets a university apart and particular researchers come to make use of that collection. We have wonderful archives, and so they are centers of learning, and you want to bring scholars onto your campus every time you can. One of the students who was doing this paper in the rare book section, special collections, said to me the next day, she said, it was so much fun. I was sitting next to this guy who's doing really serious research and I'm doing the same thing and I'm a freshman. And I said, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> you get it, yeah. I think the single most important thing that the staff at Lowinger has done for me is to just selflessly let me know that the world is kind of at my fingertips as a researcher. It's great having a place at Georgetown where I can not only come to study, but I can also get help on research projects from reference librarians. Students uh, should find a great impact from a library. They should be able to come to the library to find information. They should be able to figure out new ways of learning, new ways of getting direction on how to either do a project like the kind of iMovie podcast, digital story projects, been developing with the New Media Center for my class, or also when they're doing traditional research papers. The library has to be able to provide all of that, a really good library that's going to impact a student's life. The library is an absolute necessity. I could not have completed my thesis without it. The products, the expert help, everything from scanners to uh, iPads to the computers, it, was, it revolutionized the way I told my story in my thesis. I think the technology is really important to the uh the future, uh, for the future of Georgetown students. I mean, I, I was just looking at these new classrooms that they have here, and I saw some students learning editing, uh, you know, on these big monitors, and there's a big screens demonstrating it that the professor's using, and I think it's incredible. I mean, I wish that we had that when I was here, and I, I think that that's where everything is going. I would not have been able to produce uh, my film here at Georgetown without the resources I would Gerard in, in the library, um, mainly because I, didn't, I don't have access to a camera, I don't own my own camera. Um, the software here and the computers are a lot faster than my own laptop, so without that I wouldn't have been able to produce my film. The library as the center of learning at the university requires help from its friends, from its donors, from people who want to enhance and foster this learning experience at Georgetown in an era of technological challenge. I've done a lot of events for Lowinger Library that have involved authors who have graciously agreed to come and to talk about their work either here on campus or at events in other cities all over the world in some cases. Um, 
are really filling a need. Georgetown alums want to connect with each other, but they also want to connect with ideas. I endowed the Tannis Lecture Series because it was a wonderful way to reach out to the community and reach out to the students and faculty at Georgetown. This is about as good a thing as you can do if uh, you care about the university. The library does amazing things. This is an institution open 24 hours a day. It has done amazing things. It will continue to do amazing things, but we need your support. Libraries have never been more important. While they have historically provided access to relatively scarce resources, today they help to organize, validate, and manage almost infinite streams of information and data. Now as before, we will depend on the Georgetown community to help us sustain and build a library that meets the needs of our ever-growing university. A library where teaching, learning, and research converge now and for generations to come. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us for generations to come and for the support of lifelong learning for all who enter the library.